This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Chevy at police need your help finding two men. They say one of these guys got into a fight at game time on Harrison Avenue early yesterday morning. It spilled outside and that's when police say the man that you see in these pictures went to his car, grabbed a gun and fired several shots into the air all before driving off with the second guy pictured here. If you know anything, call Chevy police at 513-852-2280. We're learning more about the man seen in footage going viral, engaged in a shootout with police in Ohio in the middle of 71 Friday. 21 year old Jonathan Myers is charged with attempted aggravated murder after police say he was shooting at drivers on the highway. When officers got there, he shot at them. They fired back, hitting him. He's expected to survive, but now court documents show Myers has a history of run ins with police dating back several years. Alleged offenses include domestic violence, burglary, theft, even spitting on officers. A special concert at Emmanuel Presbyterian Church in Clifton Sunday to benefit people caught in the crossfire of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Three Ukrainian students studying at UC's College Conservatory of Music presented pieces from Ukrainian composers and some of their own original works. Proceeds from tickets are going to two humanitarian organizations. One buys medical supplies for Ukrainian soldiers. The other is the Presbyterian Disaster Assistance Fund working with refugees. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir will give an update on COVID-19 Monday. He recently said he'll issue new guidance if cases and positivity rates stayed low, though he's not given any clues as to what that will be. Kentucky health officials, though, have been reminding people not to let their guards down, especially people who are still unvaccinated. There are some welcome changes coming in the forecast. Taylor. That's right. We've got some warmer temperatures on the way, but tonight a low of 34. We stay on the dry side and winds will be out of the southwest for your Monday. A high of 60. It will be warmer, but we will still see some windy conditions. Looking at your nine day, we've got temperatures in the 60s through midweek before we climb into the lower 70s by Thursday.